Welcome back to Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. We're in the Palisade Bank. It's time to head down to level one, the executive safes. And services. <laughs> this place is so, like, opulent looking. All these super shiny marble floors. This sort of goldish inlay. Security only. I'd like to get in there, but the direct approach is probably not the way to take. Gotta keep an eye out for any vents. So to the right is executive services, okay. Do I have the password for this? I don't, but it's only security level one. I don't think anybody's gonna see me. Yeah. Granted. Okay, all well, the windows are frosted over. Good. Let's fix that. There we go. Now everybody can see me. In fact, <laughs> I just actually made somebody suspicious. Actually, is that a... No, I didn't make a person suspicious. It was the camera. We're good. Oh, wait a second. Wait a minute. I've already been here. This... Yeah, I placed the, uh, the fragmentation mine on this photocopier to move it out of the way. Ooh. I never noticed this, though. Okay, there's got to be like a, a special button to open it up, right? And I can't interact with it directly. Ah, there's a secret button. And I've got the password, apparently. It's always a surprise when I have the password to something. Executive Locker A key. That sounds good. Executive Locker A within the Palisade Property Bank. Yeah, so we got a couple key cards. Yeah, so we don't have this. Oh, we, we do. I thought we had the B keyguard. Oh, this is the locker. Wait a sec, what keycards do we have? Let's check. Story items. We have the executive locker and level three offices access card. I got some other sort of a thing. I guess it wasn't actually a keycard, it was just a password. I thought that's what was gonna be used here, but nope. Yeah, so these are the places they were saying if you didn't have a keycard to get in, those all those things you just saw deactivated would not deactivate. <laughs> this is so cool looking. Oh, I love those futuristic cubes and the walls. The whole Palisade Bank is just super cool. Oh, server room. That's something I was trying to get access to through the computer, but I failed to, right? 
I feel like I have... Actually, I think I might have the password to that, though. Let's just take a look around. Server room A, server room B. Then we have all these things. Are they, like... Capacity, humidity, temperature, pressure. Wow. So they're actually like temperature controlled, humidity controlled storage lockers. That is seriously fancy. I'm assuming the ones that are unlocked are probably have nothing in them. Uh, can I close this door? It's not going to reactivate, is it? Oh! <clears throat> oh, look at it go back to its home. It's so cute. Yeah, so, um, yeah, opening the door. That definitely keeps the thing shut down. That makes sense. I was hoping to close it so that people can potentially see me hacking, but I think we'll be okay. Security rating 5. Whew. Can I see what's in here? Mm. Either everything has nothing in it, or you can't. Okay, well, I have some of these multi-tools. Oh, it's not like a physical storage, right? It's just... A, yeah, whatever you call that, so it wouldn't show up in the vision. Mr. Janicek, I finished the review of our recent troubles with the head office, security, and other involved parties. The situation is grave and potentially catastrophic, but not insurmountable if we continue to act quickly, decisively, and correctly. First and most crucially is the issue of plugging the holes which have been created in our security. This is ongoing, but will take a long time to complete. During this period, we must continue to give our clients no reason to suspect anything may be remiss. Our reputation is our business. Without it, we cease to exist. Tai Yong and Versalife have already expressed concerns, but we have addressed them successfully and will continue to reassure any other clients with questions. Number two, be even more diligent in keeping our code protocols. Several hackers, including the Janus Collective, have already tried to take advantage of our present weaknesses. The single greatest obstruction to regaining equilibrium at this time is that we must divert resources away from our recovery in order to defend ourselves from these vultures. In short, we are still very vulnerable, and we will continue to be so for some time. Our one consolation is that these leaks and breaches to date have only affected our small to medium lockers. The large vaults and servers remain unaffected. It is essential for our return to confidence and stability that we address the matter of those former employees responsible for the breaches. Mr. Wodek has gone on extended leave, and between you and me, he will not be returning to work here. You know better than I do the particulars of Mr. Bartek's situation, which we are monitoring very carefully. In short, the news is not good, but it is optimistic. We must all work very hard, and when we overcome this difficult period, we will emerge the stronger for it, as a company and as people. Yeah, so, um, those... Those phishing emails we saw before. I think those were as a result of their security problems. So they're actually just straight up withholding the fact that there are huge security problems just for the sake of not scaring their clients. Which is not surprising. But it's still wrong. Oh, I've got this one. Three thousand credits. Ooh, nice. There really is no point in checking these, right? The ones that are already unlocked. Pretty sure there isn't. But I still feel like I must. 
Okay, I'll stop checking him. Security rating four. Ooh. Eight nanoblade ammo, typhoon, Tesla cartridge. Oh, I don't have the inventory space. Do you think they'd find it strange if they just found, like, a pistol on the ground? It's not worrisome, right? Hmm, this one's a little too exposed for my liking, but let's do it. Oh, and that's all my multi-tools. Let's go ahead and make some more. I got so many crafting parts. I'll make three more. Whoa. Someone's storing a lot of neuropathy in four. That's a huge amount. Usually I never find more than one, and even that is just pretty rare. Okay, server rooms. Uh, this one I gotta hack. Alright, let's do it. Don't think we'll be spotted or anything. So we got spam right here that's going to buy us a little bit of time. It is going to come... Sorry, I just got freaked out by somebody saying, hmm. Which is one of the NPCs. Nope, we haven't been spotted. Uh, so it's going to get here from here and here. Hmm. Hmm. So if I hit the spam, I'm guaranteed detection. So I guess I want to go this way. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. I don't actually think I needed the stopworm. Maybe I did. I was almost there though. Whoa. This room is so cool looking. What a server area. Look at all the lights and stuff. Can't wait to see where that goes. Is this a see in, see out thing? Yeah. It's definitely a circuit breaker, but I can't do anything with it. It's gonna take me to the lobby. This is behind the security guard that's stopping you from getting to the executive suites. Okay, that's gonna be important. It's good to know. Security office? Oh, I guess so. I didn't even realize this was here. I just saw the server room A and B. Okay, well, let's turn off the security cams and stuff then, I guess. Although, I can't turn off the turrets or the robot, but might as well do what I can. Let's see, they're gonna give me from here and then here, here and then here and then here. So ideally, I'd kind of take these two. 
And we'll get the spam along the way to the green. Okay. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Cameras off. Robots can't touch. Turrets can't touch. Vault door for for what vault? Oh, that's the one that I'm inside of. Oh, well, it's already open. I'm not going to touch that. Oh, no, 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 don't. Crap. I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter, but... Just leave them where they are. I guess they provide some... A line of sight obstruction. Let's go check out the other server room. Oh yeah, the security security thing's hidden, isn't it? It's through there. I guess this is a one-way see-through thing. rating one wow oh well I mean we can just go for it then anomaly detected trace program initiated access granted there's nothing in here is there Never mind, there is. What are those? They look like fans, but why are they red? <laughs> so satisfying. Whoa, why is there a body here? The hell? Why is there a body in the walls of the bank? Oh, wait, is this the outside axis that that person was talking about with the whole forensic leave story? Leaf story? I think this is just straight up the sewers. Regarding plan slash BP. Three shifts split. Check mic six to update. PM is good. Subsurface tunnels connected 14 and B. Okay, they were mapping out the bank. They were gonna try to steal from it. Tremors cause structural damage. Asshole. Vault code 2357. Fuck you, Janicek. So what ended up killing them? I mean, there's poison gas down there. I guess maybe that did it. Where exactly... Like, have I been here, though? Garage? Wait, dig up during the CEO's office? Oh, that's just telling me to go back inside. I'm just curious where this leads to, though. So yeah, this must be fans, probably to blow away the toxic gas. It's a bit strange that they're red, though. Isn't that how enemies are marked? I want to turn the gas off just so I can see better. Or rather, turn the fans on, I guess. Uh, 
Oh, whoa. Oh, it takes energy, doesn't it? Biosail. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, it does take a small amount of energy. Okay, let's be careful with our special sight. City guys fixed the gas leak and I've just finished patching up the wall, but we might want to check and make sure none of the electrical systems <clears throat> were affected by the leak. The gas running through these pipes is pretty corrosive shit. Just check that the wiring and whatnot in the server room B1 is all good. Code 7735 will get you in. Let me know how it works out. Yeah, so I guess if I somehow have found this pathway into the bank, this would kind of give me some information that I could use to uh, progress through the vaults codes and stuff that we don't really need now that we've gotten to this point through the pathway that we did, but if we came from here, it would definitely be useful. Um. Mm. Oh. I turned the gas off. It was just that one thing. Okay, let's check this out first then. Okay, great. We checked it out. Palisade Bank. Oh, this, so this is the garage now, which is a whole bunch of nasty stuff. Let's not explore that just yet. Wait. Why is that vent open? Have I been here before? I don't think, I don't think vents are ever open by default. Oh, whoa! I have been here! Yeah! Here comes the big shot. Fuck you, bartender. <laughs> That's so cool when places link up and you didn't even expect it to. I don't even remember that. Okay, well, let's make our way back. So I'm not going to the garage. I don't think there's any need to. I think the next area to go to is up to the executive offices. I don't think they look this way. Whoa. Well, I'm screwed. Oh. No. No, I'm not. Um, I do have the question of where I put the body, though. Do I just leave it here? I can't take it up into the vent, right? Concussion grenade. Ah, inventory's full. Should I drop the battle rifle? Yeah, I guess I will. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna see it. There's a guard up there, so I don't think I want to take him up the stairs or anything. I wish their feet weren't poking out, but I don't really have that much control over which way they're facing. Oh, whoa. Okay. Can I crumple him up? No, that's worse. Oh god. What have I done? Yeah, good enough. Okay, 
Okay, I think that guard goes between over there and back here. Or maybe I was seeing that guard. Yeah, this place is going to be tricky. There's a lot of security here and the whole place is restricted. If they come back this way, I could do a takedown. But if the camera sees, well, that's not good. Okay, yeah, they're coming back. Hopefully they come over here when the camera's not looking. Or maybe they're not coming over here at all. Taking a risk here. Got an executive in there. I can go to the bathroom. I'm not sure what that would accomplish. Maybe there's a vent. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the camera to go past and then I'm gonna see if I can go in the bathroom. event or is that a weak oh that's just a <laughs> just a weakness to the other bathroom Yeah, no vents or anything in here. I suppose it is a bit easier to maneuver here, though. But well, the person comes over here, don't they? Yeah, they're coming over this way. I'll oh, see if we can grab them in the bathroom. That'd be perfect. I could also make a distraction if there's something to grab. Ah, it doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Yeah, I really want a distraction. Till the camera's looking the other way, see if I can catch him. Oh, damn it. Come on, do it fast, do it fast. I hope time pauses when you're doing these things. That's not a stall, that's a urinal. Yeah, perfect. Alright, that makes things a lot easier. Oh, 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 oh. Someone to see me in IT services. I should probably go in there and see if I can get the security in there? Sorry, random IT person. I think I gotta do a takedown on you. Oh, 
Oh, I can't? Um, They're going to freak out if they see me, right? I'm going to see if the yellow thing appears. If it does, I am shooting them with this. Yep, sorry. That's weird, though. So you can't non-lethally take them down with a non-lethal takedown, but you can non-lethally take them down with a stun gun or, I'm assuming, a trank dart as well. Huh. I guess that's not considered hurting the civilians unlike the takedown, which is kind of putting them out by concussion rather than through drugs or electricity. I guess it's probably better, but it's still not exactly good. I mean, I'm still hurting them to some degree. It's probably a lot of really good hacking software and things to pick up here. Be an IT services place. Oh, such good stuff. Oh yeah, I should probably flip this, huh? Palisade Elevator Keycard. I think that's the second one I've gotten. Ah, this thing's in the way. Mm, don't think that's security, but let's hack it. Ooh, it's pretty far away. So it's going to get me from here and then here. Uh, I can go this way to get this one, and I gotta go the opposite way to get this one. Okay. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Uh, from this IT person to Daniel Janicek. We have a number of clients scheduled for viewings that were delayed because of our system audit. Several containers are still preloaded. The Picus account, uh, maybe Tarvos, a few others. I'd have to check the log. Uh, anyway, I was wondering if we should upload them all before the audit or just keep them in place now that First Life is coming in anyway. I know it's against regular protocol, but then so is this visit, right? Dominic. Definitely the Tarvos vault, and I think Taiyang Medical is also preloaded. I've already sent word to begin the preloading of the Versalife vault. I don't know when they'll be done with that. Uh, ultimately, I think we can afford this minor slackening of our security protocols, since without the correct client cards, no one can access the preloaded vaults anyway. Just go ahead with your audit. And by the way, any news on how the anarcho spam made it through the filter? That was company wide. Not good if our clients ever heard of it. from this person to Sasha. Uh, looks like another late one. You know how it is in the banking world, especially here at Palisade. Customer comes first. Anyway, with the public transportation issues, I don't think I'll be home tonight. That's convenient. My parents are in town and you happen to not be able to get home. Again, we're gonna start thinking you left me. It's a good thing Palisade pays you so much or I might leave you. P.S. If I find out this is just another excuse for some bachelor party in the red light district. At a bachelor party in the red light district? Dump them. Uh, oh, that's that spam thing. Trying to fish for people's information. Uh, Dominic, have you seen this? Got it from Romantech, and you got it from one of our clients. Um, I think I've already read this from the other side, right? Because I read Janicek's computer. I just got a Praxis. Ooh. Well, you know what? I'm going to save that Praxis and the rest of this floor for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to explore more of the executive offices. <laughs>